Hi everyone! Last week on Wall Street was rather calm, all three benchmark stock indices remained almost unchanged. However, they mainly traded in the red zone. They snapped uh, their winning streak as investors were trying to find new drivers. Currently, it is not that simple as there are not many events that could potentially trigger a rise. The earnings season is in the spotlight. So far, profit results have been mixed. This week, Alphabet, Microsoft, Amazon and Meta will reveal their quarterly results. What's more, the U.S. will unveil the GDP data for the first quarter. It may provide more hints about the future course of the Fed's monetary policy. Enjoy the video review. Please leave your comments down below. Let's start. As we have already mentioned, the earnings season is in full swing. Investors carefully study the financial results of companies. As a rule, the stock market is rather volatile in this period. It could open or close with a gap after the release of a new batch of reports. So far, the earnings season has been rather sluggish. However, it is not over yet. Judging by the published reports, companies are coping with um, the current challenges namely high inflation and new rate hikes. Overall, earnings reports turned out to be better than expected. The relatively calm market was shaken by Elon Musk. Tesla posted the lowest quarterly gross margin in two years, so its shares fell by 10% on Thursday. SpaceX also incurred losses. The first test launch of SpaceX Starship rocket, the most powerful rocket ever built, ended in an explosion. The new week also opened with slight fluctuations in stock futures. It seems that investors were reluctant to open new positions ahead of new earnings reports and economic data. Alphabet, Microsoft, Amazon and Meta are scheduled to reveal their profit results in the coming sessions. Analysts expect revenue growth for all four companies. As for Amazon, investors are more interested in the actual figures and revenue growth forecast. After the layoff of 27,000 employees due to a slowing economy, traders will assess the possibility of a rise in the company's net profit margin. Alphabet may release a weaker report due to a decline in the global advertising market as well as due to an increase in the U.S. dollar. Perhaps the upcoming events will somehow change the sentiment in the stock market, which has been flat for a long time. Everything will depend on the earnings reports. However, stocks may remain in the narrow range until the Fed meetings in early May. The dough is stuck in the same range due to the lack of drivers. The volatility index shows no signs of risk appetite. Hence, uh, stock indices remained almost at the opening levels. The Dow Jones sank by 0.2%, which was almost zero change. There are no events now that could stir up market volatility. Besides, Fed policymakers made new hawkish comments ruining hopes for a policy reversal in the near future. For almost the entire week, Fed officials spoke in favor of further tightening. On Friday, Cleveland Fed President Loretta Mester said she was, has also backed a further rate hike. She stressed that demand is still outpacing supply in both product and labor market. Inflation is too high. Therefore, the Fed may raise the key rate to even even higher restrictive level this year, namely 5%. Dallas Fed President Lori Logan also believes that inflation is unacceptably high. She noted that the CPI in March amounted to 5% on annual terms. Last year's peak was 9.1%. By the end of the week, the U.S. will unveil retail sales, average hourly wages reports, as well as the core PCE price index. It means there will be plenty of drivers, yet the question is whether investors will pay attention to them. The Fed meeting is almost in a week. Besides, the stock market has been growing for a long time. It needs a correction before starting a new rally. <clears throat> The S&P 500 also showed a weak dynamic. It declined by 0.1% last week.
it notched a similar result a week ago. The forecast for the S&P remains unchanged. The indicator has already dipped below the level of 4,130. The most likely short-term scenario is a decline to 4,050. Alternatively, the index may grow to 4,300. Interestingly enough, the trajectory of the index was affected by low-risk sentiment due to the likelihood of tightening lending standards. Its rally stops not far from the February peaks. As there are no strong drivers, it is gradually dropping lower. It also failed to break through the resistance level of 4,200, which limited its further upward movement. So there was an increase in short positions at this level. Some traders decided to lock in profits. However, the majority of investors keep positions with stop loss orders at 4,100. Stock currency and commodity markets will surely become extremely volatile after the Fed meeting, which is scheduled for May 3rd. The central bank is projected to undertake another rate hike of 25 basis points. Almost 90% of traders are betting on such an outcome. A month ago, more than 70% of market participants priced in a pause in monetary tightening. The main question is whether the Fed will continue raising rates. If there are dovish hints in the speeches of Fed policymakers, stocks are sure to jump. Until then, volatility will remain extremely low. However, the earnings reports of some companies may cause slight movements in the market. The heavy tech Nasdaq 100 is also sliding down. However, its upside potential remains strong. Not long ago, it broke through the spot level of 12,500. Now we can see a downward correction and a new phase of consolidation. If uh, the earnings reports are upbeat and the Fed hints at a policy reversal, the index may climb to 13,600. However, this is the highest level it may reach in the current circumstances. The downward correction now looks more likely. The stock market was also shattered by recession fears and woes in the banking sector. Last week, JP Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon said there are storm clouds ahead of for the economy. While the banking chaos won't necessarily force a recession, it's recessionary. However, macroeconomic data published on Friday eased market concerns after such dismal statements. The U.S. PMI indices reached an 11-month high. The earnings season has been positive so far. However, there could be some surprises. Apart from that, there have been lots of talks about a default in the U.S. Although investors pay zero attention to it, this is still a bearish factor for stocks. As seen, there are plenty of negative factors that may lead to a significant drop. On Thursday, U.S. GDP data for the first quarter is on top. Uh, the reading is expected to decline to 2%, then 2.6% worse than expected. It could lead to a wave of sell-off. That is all for now. Hit the subscribe button and have the latest market news at your fingertips. See you!